to truly claim global domination. In the Offshore Super Series, Biloxi, Mississippi. First race of the season and the Fountain teams immediately took the lead. Staying out front with no challenge and finished first and second with the outer limits pulling up the rear in third. Greer's Ferry, Arkansas. As the fountain rocketed across the freshwater lake in Arkansas, the Outer Limits team got caught up in a rough water situation. Pickwick, Tennessee. By the third race in Tennessee, Team Mikasuki Fountain found themselves running alone in the V-Class. All their competitors had mysteriously disappeared. Orange Beach, Alabama. In the first rough water race of the year, it was a repeat of the same. From the green, Team Mikasuki Fountain immediately pulled to the front, outpowering even the lighter outboard caps to take the first pen. And there they remained out front until the checker. Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. By the national championships in Missouri, Team Mikasuki was again running alone in the V-Class, outpowering the lighter cat outboards and challenging the higher horsepower of the extreme Honey Party. Destin, Florida, World Championships. The World Championships became a two-boat race of fountain versus fountain, as the Yachts Fountain with Michelle Carcenti and Mike Siebold held off several challenges by teammates Brett Fershman and Wyatt Fountain to take the win and the World Championship title. European P1 Offshore Racing. Italy. In the European venue, fresh out of the box, the Fountain King of Shapes immediately proved its dominance over the European and American teams competing in the Evolution class. With Gilmore Power and Arneson Drives, the Fountain driven by James Shepard and throttled by Craig Wilson easily outran the competition. To the dismay of the Outer Limits team, who thought they had left the Fountain nightmare behind them in America. Belgium. In the field of 10 boats, the King of Shades took the lead from the start. The American Outer Limits team tried in vain to challenge the fountain, but could never get within striking distance. Chalk up another win for James Shepard and Craig Wilson with the Fountain King of Shades. England. At the start, it was the Fountain King of Shades quickly pulling away from the pack. Answering separate challenges from both the Donzi and Outer Limit entries, the Fountain would inevitably show who was boss, sometimes in an in-your-face manner. Any thoughts the Outer Limits team might have originally had about leaving the Fountain behind in the States surely are being reconsidered at this point. Germany. The waters off the coast of northern Germany proved challenging to the field, as several of the European entries couldn't make it through all the laps. The Fountain King of Shades, after fending off an initial challenge by the Italian Donzi team, showed everyone what a true rough water boat could do. Portugal and the World Championship. The P1 World Championships and the Fountain King of Shades immediately took the lead from the start, held off several challenges by the Italian Donzi, and once again proved its mettle as a rough water racing machine by taking the checker and giving the P1 World Championship to ace driver and throttleman James Shepard and Craig Wilson. Superboat International, New York. In the States, the American Fountain teams were in very familiar territory, having dominated the SBI APBA circuit for many years. Here again, it became a fountain versus fountain battle, as the Yachts Fountain team of Ben Robertson and Mike Siebold stayed out in front of their factory teammates, Wyatt Fountain and Brian Forehand, in hot pursuit in the Mikasuki Fountain. The Fountain Super V Unlimited instigator stayed close behind, having pulled more than a half a lap ahead of the competition in its class. At the checker, it would be Yachts Fountain taking the win. Moorhead City, North Carolina. By the time the series arrived in North Carolina, it was evident that the Fountains would once again be the dominant force in the race. And all expectations were confirmed when right from the start, the V Unlimited Shogun Fountain wowed the crowds with its amazing speed. 
It soon became a battle of the Super V Fountains between Yachts and Mikasuki as the two teams traded positions and stayed within a few short boat lengths of each other until the end. And like New York, the V Unlimited Fountain Instigator pretty much had its own race, remaining far ahead of the other competitors throughout. At the checker, it would be Team Mikasuki Fountain dominating the Super Vs and Team Instigator taking the win in the Unlimited class. Key West. At the World Championships, it was the largest field of fountains of all classes competing this season. While many other brands competed in this last race of the season, it was the fountains that were out in front in virtually every class. In the Super V class, it would again be a battle of the fountains as the team of Yachts and Mikasuki would go at it again, deck to deck for the lead. In the Super V Unlimited, the King of Shaves over from Europe and with dramatically less horsepower mounted a challenge to the overall leader, Shogun Fountain. And it was a similar situation in the other classes, as Fountain's main challenge was with each other. In the end, it would be a total of seven Fountains taking both world and national championship wins in their respective classes.